Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to apply for an EIN or also known as an employer identification number or federal employer identification number, um, which is a federal number assigned to you by the IRS. So this is a federal number. It's not a state level number. Um, some states actually may use this as your state tax ID, but most states will issue you a state tax ID too. But anyway, this is how to apply for an EIN through the IRS. So you go to irs.gov slash EIN, and then here you're at the screen where it kind of goes through the steps. Um, step one, you're going to enter your information. If you're the responsible party or if you're a third party, you'll enter some information. Then there's some um, disclaimers and stuff you have to accept. And so we're just going to just kind of go through the basics. And so you click on apply now. And then here you get the little warning says this is for authorized use only. Okay on that. And then read through this if you're new to the whole concept of EIN or you do it for the very first time. Um, so read everything. And there's also a paper application called the SS4, which you would have to fill out and mail in. Um, so here you pick what type of legal structure you are. Again, if you're not sure, make sure you consult a accountant or a, um, a lawyer or someone that can help you with this because you don't want to set this up the wrong way and then have to have pay someone to go back and fix it. Um, so let's just say you formed an LLC with your state and so you'll pick limited liability company and then it kind of tells you what a limited liability company is, what it's not, um, continue, and then ask you how many members. So we'll just say two members. Two members if it's, well, so if you're a single member LLC, meaning you're the only person in the LLC, you would be one. If you're more than one, uh, if there's more than one members, you'd put the number here. What state you, um, where the business is physically located. And then here it's telling you to confirm everything. Make sure you read everything. Just don't get next, next, next. And then why you're requesting the EIN, you know, did you start a new business? Did you hire employees? Like if you're already in a business and you just started hiring employees, um, banking purposes, or purchase an active business. And then here you will tell them about yourself, put your social. And then um, if you are one of the owners and members, you'll pick this. If you're a third party, you'll pick that. And then on the following screens, you'll pick your address. And then you also pick the industry you're going to be doing business in. And then at the end, you'll confirm all the details. Um, actually, before you confirm the details, we'll also ask you if you plan on hiring employees or you, there's several other yes, no questions you have to go through. And then at the end, you confirm everything and submit it. You have the option of retrieving the EIN letter online or you can have a mail it to you. Um, the quickest is obviously the online. Again, if you're not sure about anything, make sure you consult someone like a professional accountant or attorney or someone that can help you. Um, but this is where you get the EIN, and this is just the basic. Again, this is not any kind of professional advice, or I'm not telling you what to do, how to do. I'm just showing you where the EIN can be applied at. All right, that's all I got for now.